And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a game called Witkatsi. This is uh, based on a famous Polish playwright slash artist. This is mostly talking about his art. And in fact, in the rules themselves, there they talk about the different periods of his artwork and such. So this game is based on his paintings, but it is essentially a tile laying game where you're trying to put these cards down to form complete pictures of his paintings. Let's look at it. Now this game has a deck of cards here and you'll notice each card has one of five different, well, there's five different paintings that make up the cards. Each side of the card has half of a painting and then one-fourth of a painting. And you see on the other side, the half of the painting's on the bottom. So each player is going to start with a different half of the painting in front of them. Players are also going to, they're going to get two cards and they're going to get the pick. And players are also going to get a chip. There are five different chips of different colors. These are actions that they can play. There's going to be three cards available for players to pick from two that are set near the deck of cards, and then you can take the top card. So on your turn, the first thing you have to do is you will take one of those cards. Then if you want to play one of your action chips, you can, and then you're going to expand your collection. Now when you expand your collection, you're going to look at your cards, and you're going to decide how you want to add these cards to the ones that are out there. When you add a card, you can put you can slide it underneath something, you can put it on top. Like for example, I could place it right like this. Okay? And then maybe my next card later on I could place like this. You can see I'm trying to build one of the paintings. I'm trying to get the, that painting. Eventually, hopefully, I would completely finish that painting there. And as you're doing this, you are hopefully working on and building other paintings. Now in this particular case, it's going to be hard to do any of these other paintings. When you place a card, you can't put the whole card on top of something else. It has to be at least partially on other things. So as time goes by, I mean, I might find the bottom half of this painting here, but if I do that, um, it's not going to work because it's just not going to fit on there. And as you're going to be, it, it's going to take a while, but eventually you'll be able to get a lot of paintings on the board. So you can see right now there's a painting here, a painting there, two of that painting, and one. At the end of the game, you're going to get points equal to the total number of paintings between each player. So let's say there's four of these girls. I would get eight points because I have two, two of them. If there was only two of these, this would be worth two points to me. So players are going to be putting these out. Now, during the course of the game, you have these five chips that you can play on your turn. This basically lets you take an extra card. You discard one of your cards and draw another one. The yellow one here lets you take a card from someone's collection and get rid of it. It's kind of a mean card to play. An orange one lets you add a card where you can put it completely over another card. Normally you can't do that. This one does. This one here, the green one, allows you to basically put to add a card to someone else's collection. You can't mess up a finished painting though. And then this one here lets you play both cards rather than just one of the cards from your hand. So the game ends after everyone after the number of cards that's available is less than the number of players in the game. So eventually when a deck depletes, the game will be over. And that's when you add up the scores like I mentioned. Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. Now this game here comes together in a pretty simple way. There's nothing really unusual or different about this game. You're just putting together pieces of paintings. Now I have to, con to confess uh, at the outset that I find with Katzi's paintings merely okay, and some of them, I feel, to me, are ugly with no disrespect to those who like his stuff. It just doesn't seem that special to me. I also wish that for this game, they had picked some more clearly, obviously different paintings. There's a couple of the paintings which look very similar to each other, uh, especially when you only see one-fourth of the painting, and I think it would have been, I would have picked five very distinctly different looking paintings. Like the one with the girl is very obvious and the one with the blue is very obvious and the other ones are not quite so much. The game is basic. I like it. Hey, nothing special. I mean, like, I'm giving this one a dice tower seal of approval, but barely. Okay, it's, it's entertaining, but that's it. The little chips here, these chips, since I have to constantly look at the rules, remember what they do, they're okay. 
I don't know that I need that, ooh, one time I can mess someone else over. I don't know. You could probably play without the chips, and the game would be just as fine, in my opinion. Um, but really, I, this is not like one of those games I can go into great depth about, because you are essentially picking cards up, looking at them, okay, and then you look at your cards, uh, put this one here. And you're looking for that spectacular card, obviously, that when you play, it completes two paintings at once. And that's fun, and it's interesting, and I actually enjoyed it. Not everyone I played it with has done so, and I think fewer players is better, uh, two or three more so than four, just because your turn comes up faster, and then you can take it, and you can puzzle it over. You can almost play it simultaneously. You both take a card with two players and look at it and put it down, with except those chips that you go in. So, yeah, it's interesting. I think I would like some maybe more... Wonderful artwork. I mean, the, 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 the theme of the game is kind of about him, fragments of paintings, and other than that, the, you know, what does that even mean? So it's about him, I guess, to give this guy some credit. But I don't know that that's going to draw anyone to the game. Honestly, it, it, you know, as the years go by, it's probably going to be a very forgettable game. But I have to give it props because as I played it, I was sitting there going, ooh, how can I put these in? And because I had that fun, I... You know, I did enjoy the game. So if you like that same sort of thing, it's small, it's simple, it's portable. You might also like Witkatsi. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.